For the past 30 days, I have been trying to figure out the perfect morning routine, whether it be science-based, the wisdom of the ages, or whether it just be my body's natural alarm. I woke up at 3.45 and I woke up at 9 a.m. And through it all, I think I found the perfect morning routine for me. At the present moment, I'm just not happy with my current morning routine, and I want to be a morning person. My current routine is that I wake up anywhere between 8 and 8.25 after typically a terrible night's rest because my little daughter keeps me up all night. Then I make a cup of coffee, stare blankly at the wall for about 10 minutes, and then I head downstairs to go to my job. Good morning. Happy Monday. 5.44 in the morning. Getting up at 5.30 in the morning completely sucks. So to start, I want to try waking up at around 5.30 in the morning, chilling and relaxing for a few minutes, then heading to the gym to start working out. And the best way to stay honest is to force a friend to go with you. What's up, Chris? Hello, Scott. You, you want to say anything to the camera? No. You want to tell the people anything? I'm still not awake. I'm not he, in the mood for this shit. He's single. <laughs> <laughs> After an hour long workout, I head home at around 7.30, then I grab my laptop and start working on YouTube. I don't have the luxury of doing this full time, so I need to optimize as much as possible the work that I do. I mostly just write during this time, and then around 8.15, my oldest daughter wakes up and I get to hang out with her until work starts at 8.30. The problem for me in getting up this early is that I never go to bed any earlier. I still go to bed at around 11 or midnight. I just wake up a few hours earlier. Combine that with a 12 week old baby and you get less than six hours of sleep every single night. Week one was a bit of a success and a failure. I got more work done than I had in a long time, but I got the least amount of sleep that I had in a long time. The plan for week two is to decrease the amount of days that I'm waking up at 5.30 because this is what I look like at 5.30. I know I'm not a morning person and part of me thinks I never will be. And in lieu of that, I'm only going to be waking up at 5.30 on Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. <sighs> Good morning. It's like four degrees outside. 11. Sweet. Happy Monday. I got a good workout in, came home, made some eggs, and it was time for work. So then I just sort of come downstairs. I got my coffee and I got some eggs. I hung out with my daughter for a little bit, so my eggs are a little bit cold, but I really have gotten myself into a good routine. I have to get up here in six hours and I just, I get caught up editing a video. I don't have the luxury of sleep right now. If I wanna do things, I don't have the luxury of sleep. If I wanna be a decent dad, I don't have the luxury of sleep. And that's just the way that it is. For only like the third or fourth time this challenge, I'm going to go to bed at an appropriate time. 8.28. It's because I'm a mature adult. On Saturdays, I like waking up at around 7 or 7.30. It's a good way to start the weekend, but I wake up slow. For some reason, when I get up early in the morning, I always cry a single man tear. Can someone explain this to me? All in all, week two was a complete success. I worked out six days that week, I spent time with my family, I edited multiple videos, and generally felt extremely productive. However, the elephant in the room is that I still did not get nearly as much sleep as I should be getting. And a big reason for that is that I have a 12-week-old daughter at home. It is Sunday at 8.24, and my daughter just didn't sleep last night. So she's just wailing and crying and breathing loud and grunting and all this these noises and I'm a super light sleeper. That's just how it is now. I just don't get a lot of sleep. I want to show people that just because you have young kids doesn't mean you have to give up on your dreams. In my opinion, your dreams should just become that much more important. You have a reason to achieve your dreams now. You have a reason beyond you to achieve your dreams. And I think that for me, ever since I've had my kids, my dreams have become clearer and more important. It's still dark. It's only like 7.15. It's funny, on days like this, I feel like my past guy would be so proud of myself. Being up this early, working out, a uh, snowflake just went in my ear. He'd be so proud of me catching that snowflake right in my ear. It's pretty cool though. Week three was much the same. At this point, I'm getting into a good rhythm. Waking up early is still tough every single morning, especially not sleeping throughout the night, but you just gotta take it day by day. We are nearing the end of this challenge and I think I'm realizing that I don't think I'll ever be a morning person. It doesn't matter how early or how late I wake up. I wake up as exhausted no matter what. <laughs> I could get 10 hours of sleep or I could get four hours of sleep and I wake up absolutely exhausted. So that sucks. <laughs> Good morning. It's too early for this. It's 3.53. I'm gonna go pick up the boys play some ball. Oh, it's 4.05 and we're off. 
This whole time, I have been extremely worried about the amount of sleep that I'm getting, but maybe that I'll sleep when I'm dead mantra isn't that far off. I'll be the first to admit that sleep is extremely important, but memories are also important, and maybe some nights I don't quite sleep enough. And for right now, that's just gonna have to be okay, because if you want to live an extraordinary life, you have to live in an extraordinary way. And maybe for me, that is sleeping less than six hours every night. My kids will grow up and sleep way better throughout the night, and eventually I won't have to live like this. But for now, there are some memories I don't want to miss. This is the absolute best part about waking up early is it's 7.35 right now. I've already worked out for an hour and 15 minutes and work doesn't start for another hour. You just like, you just feel so good about everything I've done. I never did become a morning person throughout all that and I think I never will. But I know that this is just the beginning of my journey and maybe one day I will become that morning person that I really want to be. I'm going to continue on the same schedule of waking up at 5.30 on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday and 7 a.m. on the other days. The amount of work I'm able to do, my workouts, everything that I can do during that time, it just it makes me the best version of myself that I could possibly be right now. Maybe in the future I'll change, but but for the next year or so, I imagine I'll be waking up early to try and help and get the other 30-day challenges done. My next challenge that I actually already started is intermittent fasting, and it's really hard. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.